Hello everyone, in this video you will learn how to connect and configure a new SAMF NGF in bridge mode so you can protect the internal network very well. In the bridge mode, NGF is installed as a bridge between router and call switch. This will not only has no effect on the original network, but also can achieve intranet security protection. Connect the network devices. First, we need to put the device in the internal network. Connect the ETH2 port of the device to the router. Connect the ETH1 port of the device to the core switch. Then you need to connect the PC to the NGF using manage port. On the PC, you need to set up your PC local address as 10.251.251.1 with Netmask24 using an internet browser with it the URL https 10.251.251.251 and then log in with the default admin account the username is admin, the password is admin and then you can access Next, you need to configure sample NGF interface. First, click Network Interface. First, you need to add one line manage zone. First, add one zone. The one zone is used for the port connected to the router. And then add LAN zone. The LAN zone is used for the port connected to the core switch. And then it's the manage. The manage zone is used for the manage and the database update while bridge IP. Then click physical interface. First, select a bridge type for this port and add this port to the LAN zone like this. And then click the ETH2. Select a bridge for this port and add to one zone and enable one attribute ok and then click the VLAN interface to configure bridge IP add the one add to manage zone and enable pin configure the bridge IP as 192.168 2.4.100 and uh, the net mask is 24. Next hop is the router IP address 192.168.254.254. Okay. Next, uh, you need to configure static root. First, at the default static root like this. The destination is 0.0.0.0 Subnet mask 0.0.0.0 The next hop IP address is the router IP address 192.168.254.254 Then you need to add the return route to the intranet segment This the destination is 192.168.1.0 The subnet mask 255.255.255.0 The next hope IP address is the call switch IP address 192.168.254.1 And the other segment is also same Doctor two, Doctor zero, and uh, Doctor three, Doctor zero. Okay, like this. 
Next, uh, you need to add application control policy to allow intranet network access the internet. First, click add a name along internet. The source network objects, you should select the intranet objects. You need to add your own intranet network subject. Intranet. 192.168.1.0.24 and uh, Dr. 2, Dr. 3, and Dr. 2.5.4, like this. Okay. And uh, select the 8. The source zone, you should uh, select LAN zone and the destination network objects, select the O, the default one and the destination zone, select the one zone and the service, select any ok, ok and the action is along, ok, like this you can access the internet using any computer that is connected to the sample internal interface node, like this. You can also access NGF management platform while bridge IP address HTTPS 192.168.254.100. And the username is admin, password admin, and the code. And you need to change the default password also, because this password is too weak. Like this. Thank you for watching this video. If you need further details, you can visit httpcommunity.sanford.com to access our complete documentation library.